praise the lord hallelujah blessed be the mighty name of our lord jesus christ in this wonderful and beautiful morning dear children of god let us together on this year of 2021 on this january 7th thursday morning to worship our god to praise our god to give him the glory for every wonderful opportunity let us tell him thank you hallelujah let us lift our hand and glorify him hallelujah thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you hallelujah thank you thank you thank you last full morning our lord protected us last night he gave us good sleep with good health with happiness this morning the lord who woke us up for his grace i love thank you i slept but because the lord sustained me i am awake we do not be awake this morning by anything that we have done but because of the grace of god for that great privilege let us tell the lord thank you rejoicingly tell him thank you with gladness tell him thank you Hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you you are a great god you are a faithful god you are an unchanging god we worship you we praise you we give you the glory everyone together take some time and worship the lord last days how wonderfully our lord led us even without us knowing we were under his protection that is why we were protected we were we might have thought nothing happened but by the grace of god he protected us for that tell him thank you thank you father thank you last night the sleep that he gave it is his grace happiness peace health everything is a gift of god that is why we were privileged to wake up this morning so with rejoicing with gladness you should tell the lord thank you in psalms 42 the word of the lord says hallelujah like how the deer pants for the water brooks so pants my soul for you o god to come closer to god to sit with him to be with him we should have an eagerness as the deer pants for the water brooks so pants my soul for you o god to be with you to stick with you to hold on to you my soul thirst for god for the living god when shall i come and appear before god hallelujah thank you jesus verse number 8 says The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime and in the night his song shall be with me a prayer to the God of my life I will say to God my rock why have you forgotten me why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy verse number 11 why are you cast down o my soul and why are you disquieted within me hope in god for i shall yet praise him the help of my countenance and my god so this morning lift your hand and tell him thank you give him the glory due unto him praise him according to how he is worthy to be praised remember how he led you and tell him thank you so far our lord has helped us he protected us together tell him thank you and let us all pray together let us all close our eyes and with one mind pray to your heavenly father in the name of jesus for this morning thank you last full morning for leading us thank you for the good sleep you gave us last night thank you. you with good health happiness you who woke us up this morning for your mercy thank you father this morning remembering how wonderfully you are going to lead us we tell you thank you we are worshiping you we are praising you we are telling you thank you for you are a great god a faithful god and unchanging god there is no one like you there is no god who is more than enough like you there is nothing impossible for you remembering that we tell you thank you we are worshiping you we are praising you we are are offering sacrifices of praise and worship unto thee father we are praying for all those who are hearing this voice today let no one be put to shame let no one's head be bent you are a god who makes us to lift our head on high every child every child who is hearing this voice today personally father we bless them let their family life be blessed let their children be blessed let the way of living be blessed let the ministry that they do be blessed let their body be blessed let their say lord all those around them that they're blessed by the lord father a sign of a blessing thank you for giving it in their life honor them wherever they are we command godly blessing and honor Father we pray especially for the sick let them be healed in the name of Jesus complete heal complete peace complete rest father we declare it upon the life of your children father where their body is fully swollen we are praying for them today 
Lord Jesus, in your name, let all the swellingness be dried up. Where the ice is swollen, let it be healed. Every pain in the spinal cord. Father, whatever is a difficulty in the spinal cord, Father, this morning, in the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Let health be restored back. Father, those who are going through financial problem, let them be delivered. Those who don't have work, let them let doors be opened for them where there is no peace in families let peace prevail upon them where people cannot conceive let them conceive we pray in the name of Jesus Father honor your children lift them up Father protect them miraculously thank you for all that you have blessed us with in Jesus name we pray Amen 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 let the Lord bless you all abundantly abundantly this morning Hallelujah Today our Bible reading portion for the one year term is from Genesis chapter 13 to 14, Psalms chapter 7 and Matthew chapter 13 and 14. We also have got six months plan of Bible reading. Today we have to read from Genesis chapter 33, 34, 35 and 36. Hallelujah. If possible, if you want to read the six months Bible portion, read till Genesis chapter 36 and yearly reading portion is from Genesis chapter 13 14 Psalms chapter 7 Matthew chapter 13 and 14 and let the Lord bless you all abundantly this morning today is Thursday the day for preparation and tomorrow is Friday where in Jesus countries we've gathered together to worship the Lord so pray prepare yourself and tomorrow come together live to worship the Lord wherever you have the meeting the churches that are worshipping the Lord in spirit and truth hallelujah and let the Lord bless you all abundantly this morning hallelujah whenever you remember please pray for Middle East that the Lord would show his glory upon Middle East hallelujah now let us move on to the word of the Lord we are going to read from Psalms 130 verse 5 Psalms 135, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in His word I do hope. This morning we are going to think about the word hope. Let this year be a year filled with hope, where we don't lose our hope. Hallelujah, an expectation with happiness, an expectation with waiting, an expectation even faith. Our heart filled with faith, waiting for the Lord is called hope. In the word of the Lord, in Bible, there is a great importance for the word hope. Because in Christian life, in the children of God, the greatest important thing is hope. Hallelujah. Like how the world or people say hope for the best. You might get a job, you might not get a a job. Not that kind of a hope. But this hope is surety. The word God has said in a for our life, he will fulfill it. What he has said, the Lord will do accordingly. In the Psalms, when we come towards the end, it says, I put my hope in the word of God. So putting hope in God is trusting in his word. 2021, the Spirit of the Lord through Hebrews six fourteen said, Surely blessing I will bless you and multiplying I will multiply you. This was a promise. This is the word of God. And what are we believing? We are believing the word of God. We have taken the promise of the word of God. So we should believe in him because this is the word said by God saying, I will increase you, I will multiply you. So your hope should not be only for the month of January or only for the month of February, but till December 31st. Our hope should not waver. Our hope should not lessen. Like how it says in the book of Peter, the hope with life, meaning the hope that increases each and every day. Our hope should increase. Why should it increase? The promise the Lord has said to me, He will fulfill it. The word that He has said to me, He will fulfill it. He has said He will bless me. He will increase me. He will multiply me. And surely He will bless me. He will increase me. And He will multiply me. And that hope hope should keep on increasing day by day our hope should not reduce but our hope should increase this year of 2021 let this year be a year of hope let your hope not decrease in romans 4 hallelujah it says in 
Romans 4, 18, who contrary to hope, in hope believed so that he became the father of many nations according to what was spoken. Though his body was weak, understanding Sarah could not conceive because her womb has finished its functioning. Abraham knows that his body cannot do anything more. Looking at Sarah's body, also her body, her uterus is dead. And then it says, though it is contrary to hope, he waited in hope. It is in the year of 2021, the Lord has said he will increase us, he will multiply us. Probably around us, there might not be situations for that hope. Hallelujah. We might not have anything to rely on or to increase our hope. But then what should we do? Contrary to hope, we should hope and believe it. Hallelujah. We should completely surrender ourselves into the Lord for the Lord will surely increase us. He will make us to grow. He will multiply us for this year of 2021 is a year of increase. Hallelujah. Even though your situation does not have any hope in it, but completely trust in the word of God and believe. And when you do that, our Lord will increase us. But instead, if you become sad and depressed, when you face problems and difficulties, probably we might preach something else later on. But then the word of the Lord, the promise of the Lord does not change. The year of 2021, he said, is a year of increase. There is no change in it. Even if the preacher preaches something else, our hope should not change. My Lord will help me to grow. He will increase me. He will multiply me. That great increase, that great hope should be in our life. Because hope is the greatest criteria in a Christian life. In our life. Hallelujah. In the life of a child of God, the greatest hope is the promise of Jesus Christ, which he said, I will come back the way I have gone. For what? To take us along with him. That great hope, if we have in our life, in this world, we can lead victoriously. That him we will understand that life that we have in this world is temporary. Any time my bridegroom will come back and he will take me along with him. Do not wait, lose that hope. We might be saying, oh, I've heard this for a very long time. When is it going to happen? Do not lose your hope. Surely, definitely, the word of the Lord does not change. Even if the heavens and the world will pass away, but the words of the Lord will never pass away. But it will fulfill all that it has spoken. So surely he will come back to take you and us along with him so don't be tired do not lose your hope but the word the lord has said he will surely fulfill it so he will come back he will come back and not only that midst of that whatever he has promised us not the word of man but the word of god he will fulfill it he's also working on it at the right time to fulfill it so move forward move forward in confidence and he will do what he's promised that he will do in our life. We will grow, we will increase and we will multiply. So do not go back in your hope. But then the hope that increases day by day. The Lord said, he will, what he said to me, what he promised to me, the time is drawing very, very near. That great hope you should have and let the Lord bless you. Together say loudly, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will grow, I will increase and I will multiply. We are blessed, we are really blessed, we are permanently blessed. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you today. Hallelujah.